Welcome back to my channel, guys. How are you? My name is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I want to welcome you to this reading. We're doing a love reading for the Earth signs, and we're going to start off with the Virgos. So we are devoted to your soul's expansion through divination. Try a divine perspective to your success. Welcome to the new subscribers. And if you're watching this for the first time, welcome. This is going to be a freestyle reading. So please do leave a like if you do like this style. I'm doing just a freestyle reading. We'll see what's coming through uh, for the Virgos, the earth signs in love and relationships. And we're going to do from this new uh, month, October uh, until the 14th. So October 22 until the 14th, uh, mid-month here. What's coming in love and relationships here? Uh, for the Virgos, Earth signs in our collective. Okay, just take the energies how they apply. And if it doesn't resonate, just leave it and follow your intuition. I do offer personal readings. And we have a metaphysical shop as well. Thank you so much. Please do leave a like if you like this type of reading. If you want to get the Zodiac uh, readings here. Uh, or like the reading if you like the freestyle. Alright. We're just trying something new here. And let's see what's coming through for the Virgos in the collective. Okay, what's coming in for October? October 1st to October 14th. For Virgos in our collective in love and relationships. What's coming in? Three cards. Ooh, okay, we have a little bit of kissing action happening. Loving your lips. Somebody loves your lips. Oh my goodness, we have a sexy masculine here. And so it looks like we have some really amazing energy here. Performance putting on a show. Virgos. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of action happening here for the first two weeks of October for you, it seems like. The bottom of the deck is early out, lunch break quickie. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of passion here. Um, and there is maybe some kind of getting together um, to have some kind of, um, to have some fun, all right? Uh, getting out of your busy schedules to, to come together with somebody here. In this case here, we have a sexy masculine here. Um, you find this person very attractive. This person might be coming towards you. You might be dating this person. You might know this person. Um, you might be in a relationship with this person. Um, this putting on a show here, I do feel like there is some type of like... Uh, like I'm getting a lot of like masculine energy here like they're maybe trying to show off maybe they have a nice car like they're trying to maybe maybe they're whining and dining you or showing the best of themselves towards you in the first uh, beginning of October here we have kissing here so there is a lot of passion here with this person here uh, there could be a lot of um, enjoying each other physically uh, making out uh, things of that nature there this person could also enjoy um, you know your lips as well and there's a lot of uh, you know there's a lot of passion here you know I do get the sense here it's like whenever you have a chance or whenever you guys are in the mood like something like that here um, for others like there could be some kind of uh, break here for others there could be some kind of break you might be um, leaving a situation for a little bit uh, you might be taking some type of break um, with this person here um, what's coming through with this person with this masculine here um, you might be taking like maybe some kind of breaks with this connection with this person um, this person that loves your lips um, there is some maybe some wondering about this performance. We're going to get more energy here with this kissing masculine and performance. So what's going to happen with this? Four cards. Okay. So we have the three of swords. Okay. We have make amends. have undervalued
King of Cups, walking away. Okay. All right, so here we have uh, a story here. There's been some kind of heartbreak here. There's definitely been some kind of pain here with this person. Uh, shifting the energy, making amends, all right? Strings attached. Okay, one-sided one conditional giving here. So this could definitely have been somebody that has um, uh, caused some kind of pain in some way, uh, maybe has strung you along, or, you know, there's a situation, you know, that this person is in. Um, this could be connected to the past if you guys were together uh, before. Um, so there's been a lot of pain here is what I'm getting. Um, they want to do things differently uh, with, you know, one-sidedness or some kind of dependence, um, you know, conditional giving, okay? So this could be why this person is putting on this performance here because there has been a lot of like negative um, experiences with this person. Um, I do feel um, like there has been a situation where you have might you might have felt like a option with this person or this person had a lot of options here, uh, maybe had other connections going on. Um, but what I am getting here is that you might have walked away from this and um or they have walked away all right from this energy here okay um i do get the sense here that this person is coming in because they're showing up here as the king of cups there is some kind of emotional mastery here with this person and there's an energy of no more drama, kind-hearted, diplomatic, and artistic, okay? Emotionally contained. This person could be a king, um, not a king, um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but we also have this sexy masculine energy here. All right, so let's see now uh, what is the result of this here. What's going to be taking place? Kissing, sexy, masculine performance for Virgos okay what is the outcome of this kissing sexy masculine performance three cards okay intervention nightlife and soulmate okay I'm just going to move these up a little bit so you could see Okay, so we have here now the outcome here is that there is going to be, there's going to be some, something involving other people, all right? Um, there is going to be an intervention in some way. This intervention might involve them. Somebody might be, through this intervention, you might be rescued, all right? Um, I am getting the sense here that this could be you um, there's going to be an intervention happening for you. Um, the one who isn't this sexy masculine. So the one who isn't this sexy masculine could be getting some kind of intervention uh, where there's going to be some kind of rescue, okay? And it could involve other people, all right? Um, this is going to involve some kind of risk. 
somebody might be taking some type of risk here. It could be connected to this intervention where somebody's going to get rescued. It's almost like um, something good is going to happen through a risk. And this could be through a soulmate. Now, the soulmate could be another person or the soulmate could be the sexy masculine where there's some kind of similarity. This, this masculine here could be the one taking this risk to rescue, all right? Um, where there's a situation with other people, okay? Um, because here at the bottom, we have magnetic. So unexplainable pull. So this is having to do with a pull um, that they are receiving. We're gonna find out more about this with four cards. Okay, this is for Virgos. Okay, I'm just gonna move these cards again. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Okay. Okay, can you tell us the story here with this intervention, nightlife and soulmate, please and thank you. Okay, we have nine of coins. We have champion of coins. Two of swords. You have six of swans, okay. Um, bottom here is the money trap. Fear of financial loss, old money, married for money, contracts, family feud, financial loss and gain. Okay. Okay, so I do get the sense here, the outcome here with this connection here that's coming through with this energy is that um, there is some type of family issues or there may be some kind of money issues here, some kind of loss. Um, it says here the money trap, fear of financial loss. So somebody is having some kind of money issues, okay? And I think because of this money issues here, because we have the rewards of your labor, nine of um, coins, so it seems like somebody is going to be being independent to create some kind of self-sufficiency, um, like doing things on their own, like they're going to be abundant. They're going to be um, single and working on their coin. They're going to be working on their business they're going to be working on their status their work their job their career their 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 home and this is a singles energy they're going to be taking some type of time here all right this is somebody that's taking their time um working diligently but having patience all right day by day they're being this is a very patient energy being very patient with their work um, in, in a lot of cases, just being practical with day, day by day work and, um, being loyal, you know, to, to, to this patience. All right. Um, so this is, um, I do get the sense here, like it's, um, being careful and, 
through that careful, it's like working, this person's working and doing what they can to be self-sufficient and being patient and continuing to work on themselves, working on their coin. That's what I'm getting here. Um, this person's been in an indecision and their situation has led them to be in a rock and a hard place. They, they're not sure about how they were going to move forward here um, with having some type of victory here, okay? To having some type of public recognition and being um, successful, okay? Um, so this is the story here and, and this, this situation here coming through uh, this person is going to be taking some kind of risk here um, in relation to uh, this soul connection, all right? Um, because we do have this King of Cups here, all right? Um, so this is what's coming in for, for Virgos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and take care.